it's working. Oh boy. So far there's no drop frames. Internet work? What? That's the first what? Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have been streaming because I have classes later. Oopsie. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I, I guess I can keep this short, whatever. Uh, people that followed last time, uh, or I guess followed when I was offline, like Eva Sin Sisness. I don't, I, I don't remember seeing that name. It says it's been a while ago, but I don't remember seeing that name. So thanks for the follow. Um, and then uh, I, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I, I didn't know if I wanted to read this because um, I saw this earlier. Uh, I was just checking to make sure my bitrate, everything is working perfectly fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I hope it's fine. I can actually stream and play games. What? Um, and I was going to be on like two hours ago, but then I started getting distracted with PewDiePie videos because I was eating breakfast and then I just couldn't stop watching it because they were so fucking funny. Uh, anyway, so um, I was watching this other stream as well. Uh, her name is Courtney. She's really fucking, uh, she's really uh, gorgeous and beautiful and hilariousness so um am i dropping frames again no i'm not okay so i found uh, so she was saying uh her stream title was like eating sugar-free gummy bears and i was confused if that meant like if it was weed weed gummy bears or like what kind of like she said sugar-free but i was really confused like are there sugar-free gummy bears like how how does that work how does how are those made you know um long story short she uh, one of the mods linked me to uh, the Amazon review thing, so I'm looking at that right now. I haven't finished reading it, but I couldn't stop laughing at it earlier, so that's why I took that PewDiePie break and I was watching PewDiePie videos. Because uh, I felt really bad when I was reading this review on Amazon uh, about sugar-free gummy bears. Resolved issues, repeated bounties, blah 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 blah. Okay. Weekly challenges, I don't care. Alright. But, uh, <laughs> to take, to take, before I get into Destiny, I wanted to actually finish reading it. Because I thought it was so fucking funny. Um, <laughs> and I just kind of want to share it. So, a, a lot of the, <laughs> I didn't know these things existed, right? I didn't know that there was, look at the stick drift, look at the stick drift, look at the stick drift! <laughs> Jesus. Alright, but I didn't know these were a thing. So the title is called See You in Hell, Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears. And he it, it's pretty long. Um I I couldn't I couldn't read the rest of it, but I'm gonna read it right now. Stick drift is going. It's going. <laughs> it's it's like my controller's fucking possessed, man. It like it goes slowly and then it just, <laughs> just Jesus Christ. I I wanna get a better controller. I mean, I have another controller literally sitting next to me that I haven't touched um, since I bought it. Or, not, re not really since I bought it. I, I have absolutely played with it as a secondary controller when I go for achievements. Anyway, so that is the hair about review. So, uh, it was the last day of semester and the final exam was worth 30% of our grade. After a late night study, I felt confident, but I had decided uh, to sleep... Uh, between sleeping in or cooking breakfast, my eyelids chose sleep. My stomach later regretted the decision. After several uncomfortable stomach growls, I finally decided to make a quick stop by the campus bookstore to grab a snack before my test. Since, since the semester was ending and everyone was going home for the summer, a lot of the items were on sale, including the snacks and the candies that they kept up front. Being in a hungry state that I was, I felt it only logical to pick the largest yet least expensive candy uh, bag of candy in order to get more bang for my buck. And uh, there they sat. Two bags of Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. Buy one, get one free! What? <laughs> oh, man. And this is where it gets, uh... uh you'll see. Uh, what a deal, I thought naively. He's, this is like a whole novel, by the way. Like, the way he spells everything, all the, like, grammatical inputs, the indentation. It's, it's such a really good review, honestly. It's like you're reading a book. I would, uh, I would eat one bag before my test and then eat one bag afterwards. As I walked to class, I gleefully chewed on those abominable little bastard, bastards, unaware uh, of the utter mayhem that would soon unleash upon my poor, poor anus. I sat down at the desk as the professor informed us that, due to issues with cheating in the past, restroom breaks would be prohibited until the completion of the exam. I will give you 10 minutes to use the restroom now. This will be your last chance. Any takers? The... <laughs> 
The demon bears hadn't released their unholy necromancy upon my stomach yet. So in my moment of ignorant foolishness, I remained seated, still munching on those miniature bear-shaped bombs. After the, <laughs> After the students uh, wise enough to take the professor's offer had returned, the professor handed out the test. I was six questions in when it happened. I started, uh, it started subly, uh, sub, bleh, subly, subtly, 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 I cannot read. Uh, at first, almost like a slight tingly sensation in my lower abdomen. I thought nothing of it, assuming my intestines were just doing their thing. Little did I know that my intestines were trying desperately to warn me of the horror that was on the horizon. By question nine, it happened again. But this time, it was followed by a sharp pain, as if those infernal helians had orchestrated an attack upon my colon. <laughs> I fought to contain the groan that tried to escape my lips. It was at this point I began to panic. Something was going horribly wrong, and I needed to get through this test before it got any worse. By question 14, Jesus Christ, he has like a whole timestamp on all these fucking... He has like a whole like memory input of like question 14. Uh, it hit me then. My worst fear was upon me. Uh, by question 14, my worst fear was upon me. The Satan bears burning hot, liquidy dark magic crashed against my anal sphincter like a dino wave. <laughs> I was able to close the hatch just in time. But those relentless toxic bears beat against it like orcs breaking down the doors of Helm's Deep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the amount of fucking detail he put in this. I knew I wouldn't be, uh, I knew I wouldn't be able, uh, I knew I wouldn't be able to do as much as, uh, shift in my seat without risking a breach. I kept fighting through my exam, clenching my cheeks with all my might. Beads of sweat began rolling down my neck. Suddenly, a loud, gurgling war cry came from my belly, and the entire class lifted their heads. At this point, nothing mattered except expelling this ungodly presence from my bowels. With 15 questions left, I promptly wrote C for every answer and ran out of the classroom. My professor yelled something, but I was too preoccupied with the volcanic eruptions that needed to take place before I could find sweet, sweet relief. I bursted into the restroom like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> and behold, the handicapped stall was empty. Sun rays from the adjacent window shined upon it as if it were a gift from God. <laughs> it as if they were a gift from God itself. It took me less than 0.5 seconds to undo my buckle and pull down my pants and finally relax my weary buttocks upon the toilet seat. It took absolutely no effort to expel this demon. Almost immediately, the floodgates of hell were opened and damned. Liquefied souls of the entire bag's worth of gummy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, Wood? <laughs> An entire bag's worth of gummy bears cried as they burned through my sphincter and into the watery abyss below. I had never felt such simultaneous relief and anguish in my life. After 30 more minutes of this, I immediately went home, <laughs> dug a hole in the backyard, and burned the remaining bag of gummy bears. <laughs> 30 fucking minutes. I leave with this. Do not, I repeat, do not! Eat these spawns of Satan. Not only did they cause me to fail my final test, but the anguish I experienced is something I wouldn't wish upon anyone, not even my worst enemy. The only place these godforsaken hell bears belong are buried deep below the earth's surface. <laughs> and then again, the title is See You in Hell, Haribo Sugar Free Gummy Bears. One star review. On June 5th, 2015. The end. Wow, that was an amazing story. Don't you just love reading Amazon reviews? <laughs> it's so great. 9,157 people had found this helpful.
Oh my god, that's amazing. There's there's even other ones too that are like um it's like like there's other Amazon reviews that like this one has uh, been it's been 15 agonizing hours since the first gummy bear entered my body and I'm typing this from the toilet as we speak. Uh, this is on the Amazon for the Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. Um, <laughs> the hell gates of my anus. <laughs> it burned. It attacked. Yeah, so if, uh, you know, if you ever needed some type of laxative that wasn't really a laxative, but came from a company that, you know, that makes candies and whatnot, there you go, you know, Har sh sugar-free Haribo gummy bears. The most perfect gift for any one of your enemies that you hate so much dearly in school. Just give them a bag of gummy bears. Just just say, like, you should you should have one before class starts, you know? And then just make sure that there's a quiz or something going on that day so that they go through the same experience. You know? It's a great way for revenge. It's amazing. Haribo gummy bears. Buy now on your local Amazon. Included with prime shipping. I'm kidding. Probably not. <laughs> How you doing, Wood? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, my so... I know I said long story short. But that was pretty much what I was linked to when I when I went to Courtney's stream earlier. And I thought it was so fucking funny. I, I stopped reading it at the beginning and I didn't read the rest of it until now. But that was so fucking great. Oh my god. Um Available now. A new exotic quest. Speak with Banshee 44 in the tower. Requires Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Well, that's a good thing I got it. Uh Let's see. Well, it said go to the tower, so I guess I'm going to the tower first. Anyway, so... <laughs> back to Destiny. Uh, I think I find... I, I So I don't really know what the fuck's going on. I think I hit Destiny 2 in the last uh, stream. Like, I was on a new planet, but it nothing really happened yet. I thought Destiny 2 was where the tower breaks down, but I don't really know where Destiny 2 starts with this game. Uh, immediately I got slammed with the dislike, uh, when I posted the first Destiny video on YouTube. Um, which is interesting to me, cause like, I don't really care for the dislikes. I just wanna know why I got the dislike. Where the fuck was I at? Was I at the Rift? Why was I at the Rift? I'd never even been to the Rift. That was weird. Alright. Um, but, uh... Anyway, so I was slammed with dislikes. I don't care about the dislikes. I, I just want to know why I got the dislike. That's all I want to know, is just why. If there's something you dislike about the video, my opinion, what I said, or the game I'm playing, tell me why. I can't grow or understand the criticisms if I don't get no fucking criticism. You know? And, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a big ball. I got big balls. ACDC. I got big balls! And there he goes. Into the abyss! Alright, and it died. The end! No, your master row will fuck you. I'm trying to look for this other guy. Is it him? Banshee, yep. Alright, anyway, so I don't even know if I'm playing Destiny 2 yet. All I know is that this is this game is apparently a remake of Destiny 1. None of Destiny 1 exists, I guess, because they make you play the Destiny 1 levels again in this one. Uh, and then they go into Destiny 2, so I guess this is alternate reality Destiny where, uh, fucking, what's his name? Cade, 66 or whatever, dies. The only, like, interesting, funny character they've had in this whole series. He's dead. They've already said that in this game, that he's already established dead. Um... Scout, sword, solar, and then random. Okay, and then this is... <clears throat> requires completion of the Beyond Light campaign. Oh, shit. Alright. I guess I haven't done that yet. Make us proud. Ugh. But, um... How do you... I... A huge ball, someone has says on the bottom left. My camera was probably covering it. Uh, let's see. So I have quests, right? What are my quests? I gotta do something with the shotgun. Here we go. Complete a rising resistance mission. Uh, I think that was back on the, the, the moon, right? And this is shotgun stuff. I don't have a shotgun yet. Or do I? 
I think I no, I got a shotgun, don't I? I gotta do something with the shotgun. Okay, so I need to go to here. Europa. I need to go to Europa. And I need to do this one. Beyond light campaign. Okay, so I gotta do that one. Um This is all wrong. Okay, well at least this says campaign. That's like everything is so fucking I guess not mislabeled, but there's so many different colors and symbols and shit. Like, I don't know what this symbol is. I don't know what this arching symbol is. I don't know what the fuck this is. There's so many symbols and colors and, like, this says campaign, so that's the only thing I know that I'm going to do. So I'm going to go there and do the campaign. Because I just want to get through it at this point. I just want to see where, when the fuck Destiny 2 starts and why nothing from the first Destiny matters in this Destiny, I guess. I don't understand. Also, I keep I kept calling this Dinklebot. I don't know why. This is not Peter Dinklage. It was in the first Destiny. In this one, it's uh, Nor Norm, Norman, Norm something. I don't know. I probably should know who these actors are. You know, seeming as I probably know them from other films and shows. But oh well, I'll figure it out eventually. I forgot to take my medicine. God damn it! Always forget about the drugs. Also, Twitch has a new thing now. It says new, like updates on um, when people chat. There's like a new bar that's there. I don't know what that does. I mean, obviously it's when people chat, but I don't know why it's there to begin with if you can't even see the previous chat. Okay, and then uh, shotgun. Do I have a shotgun? Oh, I do. It's, it's already equipped. Okay, so I just got to use it. Submachine gun. Pulse rifle, scout rifle, auto rifle. Okay. No. No. Oh, you know what? I'm keeping these so I can upgrade them later when I'm done with the campaign or whatever. Uh, and then I don't know what this is. All right. Is that his name? LMAO, yeah. All right. What's over here? The flag is raw. Here, yep. Uh, there we go. It's loud. Is that the TV or just the game? Jesus. Okay, anyway. But yeah, I don't care about the dislikes. I just want to know why I got the dislike. Because I don't understand why the... De so, a lot of the Destiny community, even if you mention any of this to them, they will, hard they will get a hard-on for the game and defend the shit out of Destiny and Bungie. And just suck the tip of their dick like there's no tomorrow uh when it's genuine criticism i'm not saying i hate the game i'm not saying i'm not gonna fucking play it because i am playing it i'm gonna i'm saying i'm gonna play the whole thing so i can form my full opinion i just haven't even gotten to destiny 2 yet which is really fucking annoying you know as a as a returning player from the first destiny that i played for like two three years straight when it first came out you know I've, i'm familiar with destiny i've put many hours into the first one I know what I'm talking about. I also linked to uh, an I Hate Everything video, um, IHE. Uh, I, I think I saw that um, years ago, I think. But I remember liking it a lot. I haven't seen it because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more spoilers about the game. Uh, that like I already know that the, the tower is going to destroy and you're supposed to lose your powers and everything. That's fine. I don't care about that. That would make sense why you start with nothing in Destiny 2. But it doesn't make sense is that you start Destiny 2, replaying Destiny 1, having none of that progress, so that it just makes me seem, or it makes it seem like you're replaying the first Destiny, and the first Destiny is not canon. It's not part of this Destiny at all. It's just its own separate Destiny, but then that doesn't make sense why this is called Destiny 2, instead of Destiny reworked, or Destiny remastered, or Destiny redid, done, do, diddly do, you know, like, something that's not a 2 on it. Because I'm expecting a 2, a part 2, you know? But then again, people kept saying, um, as per reviews on Steam and Google and Xbox and whatever, uh, all the reviews pretty much say that they've redone the campaign like 7 million times. Not literally, obviously, but they've, they've redone the campaign a good amount of times. Oh, into this? Okay. So, I mean, they probably didn't plan it out to begin with, but then it's like... 
what was the plan to begin with? You know, like what was it a part two? Is it just a rework? Is it nothing? Is it something? I'm just confused, and I'm sure my questions will be answered the more I get into the game. So instead of just stopping where, uh, instead of just stopping, oh here we go, at the beginning, and not continuing, I'm gonna continue the game. Obviously I'm gonna be critical about it because I don't fucking understand what's happening. People will act like being critical and giving a formulated opinion is like so demeaning to their religion like you can't say that about destiny <laughs> destiny is the most perfect game of all time you know what i mean oh my god you finally have quality options i know right hey lou it uh the quality options don't become a priority for the smaller streamers it's only for the big streamers that get that uh prioritized option However, if there's uh, not a uh, if there's not a lot of small streamers on at the moment, uh, they will give those quality options to like pretty much first come first serve whoever's online. So I guess I just had good timing and I was online at a point where I can get good um, uh, okay, the quality that's, options. That's two. So I mean that's pretty good. Did you hear that? Sounded like voices. What? Yep, I heard that. But for the sake of my own sanity and my download speed, because my internet is still kind of crappy, I'm going to lower my own download resolution to um, 160p. 160p, peas. How are you doing, Lou? How are things going? Ah, uh, what was I saying? Uh, but yeah, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna play the game. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna stop playing it. You know, I, 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 I love Bungie. I've always loved all their Halos. And, you know, like, I think Reach was really good. I know, I know a brown man, or Ray LMAO, I guess. He changed his name for a fucking meme, which is kind of the most stupid shit I've seen, but whatever. Oh, no. It's his account, it's I don't care. They're here. Uh, ooh, hello, Blackness. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. What was that? Okay. Yay, more random shapes that are so ominous and dark and spooky. And now I'm infected. Awesome. I get crucified when I say I didn't like the new Fallout New Vegas. Just finished up studying. How's Kivo? I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm feeling better, way better. Um, after like the family feuds we keep having. And, you know, the stupid shit my parents keep doing when there's a fucking pandemic. And then they still want to, like, okay. I, like, I under, okay, here's the thing. I understand people are sick of being indoors. I understand people don't want to follow CDC guidelines. I understand that the, the mask is suppressing my breathing. I'm dying behind a cotton mask. You know, I get it. You know, I, 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 can, I can give the benefit of the doubt there. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. Usually, the time where you spend with your relatives in North America, and the rest of the world probably doesn't give a shit, which is which is fine because it's it's an American thing, um, you know. But as America, with our freedom of speech, or you know, uh, like everything that we get spoiled with, uh, it does get really annoying. When why can't I aim my weapon? I can't shoot my weapon either. Okay. Anyway, so it's really annoying that, like, the simplest thing is just that this year we're just all going to have to cancel. Every single person, even if they're not in the USA, if they celebrate some other holiday that's not Thanksgiving or Christmas or, 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 or Halloween, whatever, you know, everyone's going to have to sacrifice that until there's an available vaccine for everyone because this is a new thing that we haven't encountered before. We've always had pandemics in the past. We never had medicines for it. And that's why in the Bible, people are always saying, oh, it's God's wrath and anger to just wipe us all out again. Whatever the case may be. Every single person is not going to have the holiday to be with their family this year. Which sucks. It's disappointing. It's an entire year of your life where you don't get to see your family or your friends. Uh, or if you want to, take a shower before you go see them, before you go to their house. Wash your hands and your face. Go ahead and be safe about it. But, you know, again, because we're Americans and we have so much freedom coming out of the tips of our dicks, even you ladies out there, uh, people bitch about everything to where they don't want to wear masks, 
Uh, they don't care about CDC guidelines. They don't care about this, that, safety of other people, even if it's for themselves or for other people, which wearing a mask isn't protecting you from the COVID. It's protecting other people from potentially spreading it when you don't know that you have it or not. You may not show symptoms of it because your immune system's stronger, uh, but other people can be weaker or they can be passing it to someone that they that they talk to that's weaker or they're taking care of someone that's weaker. Like someone, like a younger person going to the store to get groceries for their grandma is obviously going to go back home and see their grandma. The whole point of the mask is to protect other people, not you. We don't give a fuck about you. You can die for all I care as long as you're protecting the good people. <laughs> that's the point of that, right? So sadly, no one's going to have to... You know, no one's gonna have to really see each other for Thanksgiving. It sucks. You know, deal with it. Whatever. Skype them. Uh, or not Skype. Uh, f what is it? TeamSpeak? Do something with it. Discord? Uh, Discord's awesome. You got fucking Instagram Live. You got Twitter Go or whatever the fuck that's called. Facebook, Snapchat, shit. I don't know. There's, like, so many things you could do to just say hi to your family and just wish them a good day. And, like, like if you want to see them, like I said, all you gotta do is take a shower Wash face, wash your hands, go to their house, and just visit, and then, like, have your mask on or something. That's all you gotta do. But, you know, like, even even my parents are really fucking stupid uh, with the whole thing. Like, they're just, like, um, like, we, we had a party. I, I talked about this on my Discord because it was really fucking annoying. That when I was just raking leaves on a perfectly nice Saturday because Biden won the elections and everything and we're, I, w I was celebrating myself. I was just like, oh, cool, awesome. He wins, thank Christ. Now we can finally begin to fix the country and possibly get rid of stupid, dumbass, privileged white people, uh, you know, from having their, <laughs> their, <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's so many things going on. Anyway, so they decided to have a party on the Saturday. They planned it a week ago at the time and they didn't tell me about it until I was raking leaves outside and they said, oh yeah, we're having a party in an hour. We're having our friends or, and families over. And then our friend and family started inviting other people that we didn't even know. And there are people that do construction. They work at houses, they clean houses, they build rooftops, whatever. So they're in dirty clothing, they got mud on their faces, you know, things like that. They're not wearing masks, you know, and it's like, they're in our fucking house, man, like... Shit, I'm I'm not a germaphobe, and I I'm not saying my family's not welcomed in the house, but fuck, all of our family was like sweaty and piggish and just like they got dirt in their nails, and they're like, oh yeah, I was just in the garden, you know, I didn't really have time for a shower, but I definitely had all the fucking time in the world to dig up my dog's shit from the lawn, like, I love my family because they're my family, but I fucking hate how goddamn stupid people can be like fuck and then <laughs> and then we get hit with the news that oh we po we possibly have covid i wonder why i wonder fucking why i wonder how in god's mama say mama samu famusas fucking hell we had gotten COVID. I wonder how that would have happened. It's almost like we had invited people over for fucking food and 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 whatever and no one's washed their hands. And I had politely asked people, because it is a fucking pandemic, if they can please wash their hands and their face, mouth, whatever, when they when they before they touch the food, before they eat, before they whatever. I'm not the host of the party. My parents are. It's my parents' house, right? And I'm asking nicely of something. But when I'm asking nicely of something, my mom has the audacity to embarrass me. Apparently, I'm embarrassing her by asking politely for people to wash their hands in her face. My mom gets mad at me, and she says, Shut the fuck up, Kevin. God, it's so rude of you to ask. You don't do that to people. That's so fucking rude. How? How is that rude? It's CDC guidelines. It's literally what everyone's been doing since fucking February when the president ignored it since the late December, early January. When they were told by the WHO and people worldwide. They had documentations of it. How is that wrong for... Anyway, people are stupid. Thanksgiving's canceled. Boo-hoo. Fucking deal with it. Who gives a shit? Eat food normally. Cook a turkey if you want to. Stuff its asshole with stuffing. Do whatever the fuck you want to do with your turkey and and its insides. I don't care. 
All right. Pretty much, I'm done with holidays. I, I don't give a fuck at all anymore. Because guess who's been exposed to COVID and has it in their households? And in my state particularly, 1 in 25 people are estimated to have it. So now we have a huge-ass lockdown again because people don't fucking follow instructions. It's only a mortality rate of 2%. It doesn't fucking matter. There's so many other strains that we've had where the mortality rate is still that low, but we still have vaccines for it. We still have shots for it. We still got fucking band-aids, boo, fucking who, everything about it. Who are these people? Six feet apart, motherfuckers! <laughs> Can you tell that I'm stressed out? Can you tell? Did you know? Can I kill these people? What's happening? Anyway, so now we're under another lockdown. Cases are jumping again. We're on another fucking strain. There's a mutation of it or some shit. I try not to even really care too much about like all these news because I'm inside anyway. I try not to give it too much attention or like too much um, paranoia like, Oh my god, we're all gonna die, oh my god! Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm just saying for like, fu like... <laughs> I can feel your stress irradiating off the screen. You know, right? Oh, I've seen this bitch before, I, I know her. She's from the first game. What? What was the point of putting the wall there? Or did it freeze them inside? I... Nope, it just puts a tiny little baby dick-sized wall. They can easily go around it! What? Why can't I do that? I wanna teleport and... That looks so fucking badass! Everyone in this game so far has been able to teleport and accept the user, except you, the guardian. Man, he would have absolutely died if he just wasn't looking behind him when there's a whole fucking battleground of enemies right there. And he would have died right there! He was not prepared. Okay, but they make these cool cuts. Can I do any of that? I don't have freezy tip fingers. Oh, that looks cool. What is that? Comes our guardian. Right on time. That's probably why I couldn't shoot, because they needed the spotlight. <laughs> oh, that was it? <laughs> that was it? Okay. It's just a, a walking simulator. Grab the flag, hack a couple things, and just walk to the diamond in the sky. It's just really annoying, because, like, uh... Because we're so privileged and because we have our freedoms of speech or freedom to wield a fucking gun around, you know, it's like... As soon as you say anything, asking nicely if people can just wash their nasty fucking fingertips uh, before splooshing their fingers in the Kool-Aid or the mashed potatoes and then licking it, like absolutely doing some fellatio shit with their fingers, you know, can you just wash your hands before you get into the nitty gritty of the food? Like, I don't really think it was that awful to ask. During a fucking pandemic of something we haven't experienced before, we have no medications of, no history of yet. This is the first time we have history and exposure to it. Now people are dying, but the, the, the more suppressed that we keep it, we isolate and contain it, and then we find the vaccine for it, which has already taken almost a year, uh, for, you know, everyone to be saying, uh, what, what, what's it called? What, what's that company called? A company that denied support, uh, funding from the Trump campaign because Trump wanted to take all the fucking credit for it, and even Mike Pence took credit for it. That, that company, uh, they found with the minimalist budget that they had, uh, because people hate paying taxes, you know? Uh, you know, they, they found some type of remedy that's working. It's, it's, it's a placebo that's working. So, I mean... If it works, it works. I'm not complaining on the science. I'm gonna investigate more of it once it's actually fully completed to see how it works. But I can't say anything now because I don't know what the fuck is happening now. But they're making progress on something, and the Trump campaign has nothing to do with it. But obviously the Trump campaign is taking credit for something that they haven't even done or funded or engaged with or a group of people they never even fucking seen a day in their life. 
And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, we found a cure, guys. I told you, hydrochloroquine was the way. And then dumbass white people from Minnesota, Iowa, all the red states are just like, our president is so amazing. He found a cure. His administration found a cure. Obama never did that. No, he didn't. That black son of a bitch, he never done shit, you know. Um, he's supposed to be a civil servant, but he's more of a civil jackass. Dumbass, idiot, moron, stupid head. His, his time in presidency is limited, and he I barely just authorized Biden's uh, campaign to be... I once asked Guardians to destroy um, the Black Heart, to prevent to be, uh, to be informed of all the cases, Success everything, all the cheat. details that he needs to have when he gets into the presidency in, in an inauguration day in January, the, the 21st open. or 20th or whatever. Is here. Um, you know, now he now he now hasn't conceded, but he's still just like, fine, I guess you can look at all the statistics that we have so we can do something. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if you're Republican or Democrat. I don't care. I'm not left, right. I don't give a fuck what wing we are on the government side. I don't care. The whole point is, the country comes first, people come first, even if it's the stupid people, which sadly we have a lot of, you know? Please um, I don't give a fuck a Republican or Democrat, but if there's someone being a fucking so idiot, no matter if they're Republican or Let's Democrat, uh, of course Obama's not perfect, but in, thi in this perspective of the Trump era, you know, he might as well just be a fucking saint. He, he might as well be the black Jesus Christ of our lifetime, Obama, you know? Like, holy fucking hell, like, I can't understand, I, I don't understand how such a man-child is, is in power of an entire fucking... Of a, of a whole branch of a whole country of people the representative he is an employee of all the millions of americans of this country he works for us but he represents us in such a shitty stupid batshit crazy way it's it's insane i usually wouldn't care this much about what president would sit in the office if it was mitt romney hillary i don't give a fuck who but they would never have represented us in this type of light to where other countries are embarrassed for us where they can easily see our weaknesses and say wow that's all it took to get america riled up was just give them a fucking idiot for a president that's amazing they're having their own civil war meanwhile we can work on nuclear warheads and they wouldn't even notice us in the in the, in the shadows you know and <sighs> it's been a stressful time there's a reason why i haven't been streaming very often also internet issues there's a reason why I haven't been streaming. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. There's even Republicans that I agree with because even they said that they disagree with Trump. The closest people that work with Trump, even his own lawyers, who uh, had said that th they can't file any of the lawsuit, they can't continue with any of the lawsuits that they keep pushing out uh, towards different states uh, for voter fraud because they don't have any valid proof. It's all just speculation. They don't have any valid proof. And when they do have valid proof, it was from a Republican who ordered a ballot for his dead mother to vote for his dead mother. Your own fucking party committed voter fraud. And th that's only, that's only one case out of probably like maybe a couple of hundred, but that's the thing. They're so minimal that none of the cases, even if there was voter fraud and when they have those cases to, to show, they don't change the election in any way. Biden still wins by a big margin. Obviously, Trump is within his right to ask for a recount in the states that are very, very closely tied that had just barely flipped in favor of Trump or barely flipped in favor of Biden. That's fine. That's when he's within his right. But there are so many states to where he lost by a huge ass margin of votes, even if there was voter fraud. And obviously, there has been some. Not, you know, every American is trustworthy. They're not enough to flip the election or by the lead that Bo that Bowden <laughs> by the amount of votes that Biden had, not Bowden. Who the fuck is Bowden? You know, so at this point, he's just acting like a fucking baby. You know, he. I, I feel like there should be a limit to how many times a president or not even a president, an impeached president can try to uh, give lawsuits on something until it becomes repetitive annoyance, you know? to where the court shouldn't even need to look at it because it's just like, Trump, no matter how many times you want to fucking sue something and you don't have proof on it and it keeps getting debunked by so many, not even the media outlets, fuck the media, I don't care about the media, by all the people from your own administration telling you that nothing is happening, you know, 
I feel like at this point you're just egging on the court system to like when they have other important things to be doing, you know. What's up, Victorious? No, sorry. I'm just, I'm just so annoyed with. <sighs> uh, I. <sighs> so this game is fun. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the story. No, it's so like I, I I'm like what the hell? No, it, so originally it's just that people are complaining about everything. Just that oh, I won't have Thanksgiving this year, and it's like okay, that sucks. It really does. We all are on the boat. I see a lot of these like popular female TikTokers or whatever the fuck they're called. All all of them females, obviously getting all the sympathy in the world. This is the first Thanksgiving. I will not see my family. <laughs> Please like and subscribe on my TikToks because I am in pain right now. Also, I have boobs. Share all my videos. You know, the female the females not 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 shitting on all women. I'm sure there's guys too, but I've mostly been seeing the trend of females from TikTok bitching and complaining and wanting all the sympathy in the world for something that everyone on the planet has to go through right now. And then there's comments of all the like all the thirsty dudes in, trying to increase their sexual chances with this woman. All of them trying to be like, "Oh, you poor broken thing! I can't imagine being in your position when we're all in the fucking position of a pandemic." You know, like, <laughs> well, <laughs> we have so many stupid people. And then this is unrelated, but I also see how people go and work out at the gyms. You are the most embarrassing fucking thing on all of life. It sounds like you need a break from social. I need a, I need a break from everything, even though there's a whole... I've been enjoying the pandemic, honestly. That sounds really terrible out of context. What I mean is, I've been perfectly within my house, fine, relaxed. I've been watching so many movies. I've been playing so many games. I've been doing mostly homework in that time. But I feel pretty relaxed. I'm pretty fine. I don't really need to go out to fucking Scotland or Ireland, Japan, Kauai. I don't need to be. I don't need to travel nowhere. I'm pretty fine. You remind me like when I had the final straw on like Facebook five years ago. <laughs> fuck Facebook too. Facebook is not a source. It's disgusting. Shut the fuck up, Facebook. I hate you. Um. But. Anyway, there's there's so many there's so many stupid people that I see. I, whether it's at the gym, it's American white privilege, it's just stupid people arguing facts that they have no idea about or that they only believe the president, but the president doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about because his own administration with the facts, analytics, and papers are telling him that he's wrong, even on the Republican side. There's Republicans that agree with Democrats on certain issues. There's Democrats that are, agree with Republicans on certain issues. And that's what we're supposed to have is unity with our fucking office parties instead of everyone sucking the dick of Democrat and Republican and arguing with each other when sh like we're supposed to be thinking about what's best for the country. I'm not saying all Republicans or all Democrats are terrible. I'm just saying that the people that follow their fucking cult are the stupidest fucking people alive. They should be buried just like those gummy bears that I read earlier at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> those demons of liquidy goodness. If you don't know what I'm talking about, at the beginning I was reading a, a, a little lovely story about gummy bears. Um, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it was the best, it was the best essay I read in my life. Anyway, so, the reason a lot of Republicans can't agree with a lot of Democrats on things is because they represent the Republican Party. And a lot of their states will start giving their Republican officers shit. Officers? Repres representatives? Shit. And then they would get replaced, and then nothing would get done. You know? There, there's a lot of there's a lot of times that even people from the Trump administration, when they work really closely with the president, they want to disagree. They're disagreeing with him on so many different things, but they can't announce it publicly because of how it'll represent them, and they will get fired, and they will just reduce that amount of progress that they have in the office alongside of Trump. And it's really fucking annoying. And no, these are not just like random ass claims or testimonies. You can actually go to these people and ask them, you know what they think Trump is doing and even they say that it's time for him to stop acting like a fucking man baby after four goddamn fucking years of dealing with this bullshit they the Republicans voted for him twice they still disagree and hate everything that Trump does 
his own party, his own team, the the people he replaced, the people he keeps firing so he can make the whole courts Republican and in his favor, you know, the, the whole cult that he retweets on Twitter. It's so fucking insane that all this shit's happening, you know? And we're trusted with guns. <laughs> we have the right to bear arms. It's insane. Why are we trusted with this shit? Guns don't kill people. People kill guns. You know, I, I, I get the jokes, you know? He's a very man baby for a long time. That's why it's funny and crazy to begin with that he would run. And, how, and here we are. I feel like South Park purposely, like, like not purposely, perfectly nailed it when, in the episode where they, uh, where they voted for Herbert Garrison. You know, where the entire country was like, it was funny at first, but now it's not funny anymore. What the fuck did we do, America? No! <laughs> you know, it's like, that's that, that was exactly how that was going four years ago. And it's still going on today. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, I'm tired of social media. I keep looking at it because I have nothing else to do during quarantine. I do go outside from time to time, but it's obviously raining and there's a little bit of snow. Just barely. I'm actually happy there's snow. I'm not gonna lie, because last year we didn't get snow until after fucking New Year's. Or no, I think on New Year's we got snow, finally. Anyway. Um, anyway. We, America has so many stupid people. I see so many videos of just people in public. People uh, in peaceful protest. The one, the one representative, uh, representing person that makes a peaceful protest into a violent protest. Uh, and then, um, for fuck's sake, not again. No, 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 more protests. No, <laughs> city living, city living. Oh, hey, what's up? Insightful mistakes? Insightful mistakes? Oh my god, what's up? You've been falling for that long? Damn. I just try to ignore it. It ain't worth getting worked up for it. I know. Bonjour! Bonjour! I wish I had the mustache for it. No shave November. Yes, this is the most of a mustache I can grow, alright? Don't... I may be a grown man, but I'm not a fully grown man. <laughs> alright, anyway. I waited so long that my super just got charged. I should have been playing the game. Oops. Bonjour! You know, I, I, I do want to say that, you know, to people from other countries that watch American streamers from time to time, I just want to apologize. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry that we're like this. Is it not complete two in the middle? It is. It's, it just spreads out this way. It spreads out like, like that. I don't know why. I remember you had blonde hair a cup. I did. I was going through an emo phase. Um, I was going through a horrible, horrible phase in my life, which uh, I hope to I never go back to again. But some, plan, but you know, very often I have PTSD nightmares about it. Not telling us everything. A tune. I broke it. I gotta do it for all of them. Oh, nope, nope. Hey, up. Thanks, Gooey, for the sub. I appreciate that, my dude. Not that I think you can. Must have been. Oh yeah, absolutely pre mixer days. Yeah. Now, I so I first started. <clears throat> what that might be. I first started on Twitch. Definitely. But I hated how toxic the community was. Everything that you do was always someone doing something racially stupid or fucking judgmental, and it got really fucking annoying because Twitch would not ban any of the thought streamers that were on here. I think Alinity is even still here. Uh, because she has ties with people from Twitch. She's offering them private nudes or some shit. I don't know. I don't care. That's not true at all. Don't believe what I say. Um, I mean, she could be sell sending nudes. I don't fucking know. I never looked into it. Anyway, so, you know, the streamers that are just like, you know, just like, <sighs> Oopsie, my nipple is showing. Let me just show it to the camera. Oh my god! Okay, now I'll cover it up. And then, you know, they get in trouble for like 10 minutes, and then they'll start bitching on Twitter, and then they'll get unbanned, and then everything will be perfectly fine. Anyway, so, you know, Twitch has had their own issues. I went from Twitch. <laughs> I went from Twitch, went to Mixer. It was so much more nicer on Mixer. Of course, there were still trolls, but you can easily block them and report them because they're on Microsoft platforms. 
So if you report them and block them and they get uh, banned uh, from the site, they're also being banned on Microsoft products, which is amazing because they, they own computers and, you know, all that crap. Oh, put those things away. How dare you want to see my nips? How dare you? Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I went to Mixer. It was much more comfortable. I was growing so much more on Mixer than I've ever done on Twitch in my entire lifetime. Except from when I started, when I streamed Minecraft the first time on Twitch, I blew up and never again have ever seen any type of income or viewers at all in my entire lifetime. So yeah, I loved Mixer. Mixer was a great platform. It was so awesome. The encoding is really weird on Mixer, I gotta say. I've noticed that when I look at the VODs or when I try to edit VODs, uh, <clears throat> the encoding on Mixer is really, it's not just one stationary, like, um, or sorry, not one locked aspect ratio of 720 or 1080p. It's constantly shifting, and I, I'm really curious on how they even had that technology to begin with. But that's how they, oh yeah, right, I have a bike. Duh. Um, but that's how they were able to, uh, that's how they're able to have faster than lightning upload speeds because of all that. Anyway, so... Mixer was great. I liked Mixer. I, I grew well on Mixer. But yes, I had my emo phase uh, on Twitch a long time ago. Or not really on any social media a long time ago. I just kind of had it mostly on Twitch. But uh, there's only one video on my YouTube that exists uh, where I had my blonde hair. And that was, uh, that was mostly a message that... Like, that was, like, when I had a face reveal and everything that I wanted to try to come out of my, like, shell and not be afraid of who I am. And, uh, I was going through a lot of depressing shit. Basically, boo-hoo, suicidal thoughts, blah, 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 I'm alive now, therapy, yay. Uh, I take pills on the daily, I get sick of it, but I take them on the daily. Uh, boo-hoo, life story, long story short, uh, I'm fine now, you know? I'm no longer blonde because, and I decided to do a face reveal. All that drama, whatever, over with. Uh, that that was the first time I was blonde. Kind of miss your blonde hair. A lot of people, I, I get that all the time. A lot of people really like the blonde hair. Even the girls that I used to talk to, they were just like, "Oh, you're not blonde anymore. Ooh, you're kind of you're kind of hot when you're a blonde. I'm not gonna lie." You know? But the woman that was doing my hair was like, Ugh. "I liked it. It really fits you. Thank you." I liked it too. It was just really expensive and because I didn't have a job at that point, I didn't want to keep doing it. And it, it really does damage your hair. Just keep keeping on bleaching stuff damages your hair. What the hell am I doing? Stasis in power. Okay, I don't know what that did, but I'm hoping it was a good thing. What the fuck? Whoa, I have a staff? I'm a wizard! Oh my god! You're a hairy wizard! Or, that's how that goes, right? Grenade! Oh, that's new too! Holy shit! Oh, that's new too! Oh, I'm all blue! Oh, wow! Ah! Kia! You shall not pass! Kia! Fear the staff! Fear my staff of blue balls! Yeah! All right. Uh, I'll read that in one second. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I assume your emo stage is like that kid. When you real. When will you realize your consequences have ex or your actions have consequences? I can read. Why do I have? Why am I shooting out blue balls? I've got blue balls. ACDC. I've got blue balls! <laughs> Might want to turn the game down just a smidge. Yeah, it's hitting the yellow. Alright. It might still be in the, uh... In the loudness sector. Thank you for letting me know, by the way. I'm actually really glad when people tell me that the game's loud. Because no one ever does that. And then, like, I embarrass myself further trying to talk and then no one can hear me. But no, I was not like that kid. When will you learn your consequences of act Or your actions have consequences? Jesus, why do I keep flipping it? Am I just not big-brained? Am I part of the stupid people I was just making fun of, like, five minutes ago? Don't answer that, Gooey. Fuck you. I already know he's gonna say yes. Anyway, but I, I, I did like the blonde hair. I, I, I didn't. It's just uh, expensive and it damages the hair a lot. It really does. 
Um, I feel like uh, it made my hair thinner, obviously. But I kind of get a little bit paranoid with it. Oh, it freezes now. Ah, nice. I didn't even see that. But uh, who knows? Maybe one day I'll go back to it. But I'm trying to, like, not, like, I guess in a metaphorical way, turn back into that person that I used to be. I'm trying to be better than what I used to be. But I, I really did like the hair. That's why my emotes right now, they're all blonde. They're of my character. Um, when I used to be blonde. I did think it was pretty good, though. I liked it. I was actually thinking about doing, like, a, uh, like a dark red. Like an auburn kind of thing. But then I also got people saying, like, Oh, you want to have lady hair color? Like, yeah, why not? If it makes me look good, it makes me look good. I don't give a fuck if it's a lady color. That doesn't make any sense. Literally see Markiplier with a purple... A, a purple... A pink mustache. I know my colors. Shut up. Oh, you know what I should have been doing? I should have been doing that. That was such a... Amazing opportunity to get those shotguns up. That's the thing that never made sense to me. Like, even when I was a kid, I would always get shit for, like, things that I like. Uh, and I got bullied for it and very, like, insecure about it back then. But now I just don't care. Because guess what? I want to be happy. I'm going to die one day. You're going to die one day. We're all going to die one day. We are all very fucking limited with our lives right now. And then at the end of it, all the experiences that we see currently with our eyes and our hearts and our booty holes will all be destroyed one day, non-existent. All the things you ever cherished and loved in the physical world will no longer be. And you see nothing but black, just the way you did before you were born. So you know what? I don't care about your happiness, I care about my happiness. Was that a very dark thought I just had just now? Yes, it was. <laughs> Imagine having that daily. My booty hole ain't getting destroyed. Well then you're not living life, are you? God damn it. I didn't fucking think so. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, anyway. It, it, going away from the dark thoughts. Uh, man. I want to be happy with myself. Okay? I don't care if you're happy with my decisions. If, as long as I'm not hurting you, as long as you're not dying from me or anything that's a cause of me, why the fuck are you complaining? Why are you complaining? It has nothing to do with you. Because you're not me. I'm me. You're not me. I don't think you want to be. Don't understand. You're actually wielding dogs. Silver hair was actually a, a thing I was trying thing. to go for originally. Isn't it? The um, I can feel its energy. Are those like I mosquitoes? What the hell this. is that? About where this takes us. This reminds me of like the vault of glass from the it first destiny. Good. In that case, let's start by using it to open those stasis oh. latches. There's one nearby. I can feel it. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I should probably check my ghost. Uh, but no, yeah, the silver hair, I, I, I wanted to do that look, uh, kind of like, uh, Doctor Strange. Before, before Doctor Strange had his own movie and everything. Um, but I kind of wanted to, like, have that look. But I was doing the top of my hair, because I wanted to see, like, how it, how it, like, would work, first of all. Or I guess mostly my inspiration back then was, uh, Mr. Fantastic, really, because he had that. Oh, I gotta go over there. Uh, but no, the silver hair looks kind of cool. I like it. I like the silver fox hair. Even if it's just like a single strand, I thought that was I thought that was really nice. Um, if you want to go for it, go for it. I'm just letting you know though, it is expensive. It is expensive. And um, I don't know about you, but my hair grows pretty fast. Ch -ch -ch Chia, just pour some water on me, and I grow like a plant. Did you know? Same thing goes for my wee wee. Put some water on it, and it gets erect. That is not true! <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. I mean, what? Oh wait, I should have killed him with the shotgun. I, got, I gotta do this thing with the shotgun. So I can get that uh, challenge done out the way. Is it better now, Gooey, the volume? 
Was it better? Uh, the RMV fucked me yesterday with bills. RMV? I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't because I'm a fucking child. Oh, here we go. Sounds good? Alright. If it gets too quiet or too loud, just let me know again. Why do they keep going invisible? Also, I know they probably explain what the seals are, but does anyone know what I'm doing or what this is? They probably explained it, but I was talking over it with my hate for Americans. I love my country, but I hate the people that are in it. It's, it's so annoying. Aged armor. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. What does the R stand for? Is it still motor vehicles then? I don't know. I only went to the DMV to get my license and then I, I, I bailed. Our registry? Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I don't like doing grown up big boy things. It's so annoying and boring and fucking painful. I mean, I understand I gotta do it anyway. Jesus Christ, can I please hit it? I understand I gotta do it for the car and my insurances and my organs for when I die and someone else can have my beautiful organs. Did I go over there? Did I miss something? Um. But yeah, when I die and my organs are still perfectly fine, obviously I would want someone to have it. I don't have any use for it. I don't need it. I'm dead. What would I need it for? Unless there is a heaven, and then you die, and then your organs are taken out, and then, you know, you, like you're at the gates of heaven, or hell, whatever. I'm probably gonna be at the gates of hell. Uh, and I'm just like, wow, I can't wait to get into heaven and or hell so that I can eat some food, because I am starving. And then they rip out your stomach. Oopsie! I guess you won't need that anymore. <laughs> Oopsie! Satan over here having a huge, giant, fucking buffet, like, full course meal and everything. Oh, Kevin, you absolutely have to try this cuisine. It is quite exemplary. Wow. You know, if only I could, if only I could eat it. That'd be great. Instead, it just slides down my body and out my asshole. Isn't that what eating is anyway? <laughs> I cracked me up. Fuck you, Satan. <laughs> actually, if Satan is real, I actually really want him to be exactly like the Satan from South Park. That'd be so awesome. Oh my god, I, I could- I, I would absolutely enjoy my time in hell. That would- that would suck, though. If, if like, if that was a thing, like, in the afterlife, where your organs get taken out, and it just, it like, it no longer functions ever again. In in the dead realm, or whatever you want to call it. Afterlife, whatever. So people who are die who died fully with their lungs, kidneys, and everything intact, they're like, yeah! <laughs> they're just like... Luckily for me, all my organs will probably be fucked up by the time I die, so no one will want them. Makes sense. Or you do die, and you keep all your organs, but you're like a gooey. Or like anyone with, you know, who, who smokes a lot and then you just be coughing for all of eternity. You have tuberculosis even in death. Wow, that would be- f why am I having these dark thoughts? What's going on? <laughs> it be? I can smell that oh yeah, do you need a new arm, bro? On you. you need a hand? Does corruption <laughs> spread and he's got so three of them, he'll be fine. Or do you hope? to fight Aramis with her own weapons. I wonder if like for his kind if he's considered like disabled. Path. Even though he's this got three other hands. Phylax, then. But be I'm just there. curious. Like w would he she qualify for the like Aramis's disabled parking spots at the nearest Walmart she or Costco? Name at Twilight Gap. I need to know. Prove it's lore. Worthy opponent. Come on Bungie. Fuck. She will show herself.
I really should be listening to what he's saying, but I kind of don't care at the same time. Uh, look for another Stasis Seal Crest in Bray. This is some boots. Uh, Arc Void. God, these are so fucking specific. It pisses me off. Why are there so many bounties for every person in known existence? I guess I'll take them, whatever. I mean, if you lose a finger or toe, you're technically disabled, so I would assume so. Really? But if I lose a toe, is that really me being disabled? I'm still able to function perfectly fine. I'm just a weird-ass foot monster. I thought it was uh, in Rick and Morty with the appendages less than 14 is considered disabled. On some planets! Anything on this planet with less than 14 arms is considered disabled. <laughs> yeah, that episode where he was dropping off Jerry at the, J at the Jerry Brewery. A whole daycare for Jerry's. That would be actually like so awesome. I wouldn't even have been mad. At Rick, I would have just been like, yo, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. A whole area of me. Where the only guest we like at this party is yourself. That sounds awesome. That doesn't even sound like a negative side. But I can't shake the feeling you're going about. I think I would freak out a bit. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean It's like looking in a non-ending mirror and they all have your same and now look at her. Like conscience, you know, like it's not a shared conscience, but the way that you see life right now, like you can't see your own face, obviously, but you, you see and understand things and perceive things on your own in your head. Obviously, your your whole you is here, not here. This is just a heart. The heart is important, but all of you is here. You're a mush inside of a skull. You're like applesauce. Your brain is literally applesauce. Uh, but it thinks. It's thinking applesauce. You are a thinker applesauce. And then seeing that in a, in a, on a whole room of yourself, but like, they are their own applesauce, like that's so, that's so deep, bro. That it's so deep. Eats own brain. I'm num num. I thought sticking your, like sticking a finger in your brain would be like if you were sticking your finger in jello. But apparently your brain isn't as viscous as that. It would be more or less like sticking your hand or fisting your hand inside of like a whole thing of apple ju or applesauce, not apple juice, applesauce. Which just gets me like wondering like, how the fuck did people even find that out? <laughs> I'm sure like the surgeons after a while. Or I guess people decapitating each other like, you know, every five minutes back in the 17, 1800, 1900s. Any time before modern time, basically. I'm sure they would have had fun with it. You know how, like, as kids today, we play with Play-Doh? Do you think that was their Play-Doh back then? Their parents would just bring home a decapitated, severed head? And just be like, here you go, son! You can play with the brains! Wow, thanks, Dad! I love it! It's amazing! Wow, this is so cool! You know, sometimes I like to pretend that, uh, depression hasn't gotten to me. <laughs> and then I, I, I continue with these thoughts. It's great, you know? It's great. Uh, what am I doing? Falling? Did I not, uh... Wait, shit, what was I doing? I just came over here not even paying attention to what I was doing. Let me get back from this monster a little bit so I can look at the map. Quests. I need to. That's a quest. 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 Oh, I guess I have to do this. In a single life, defeat fallen and Inventide ruins. Is this where I'm at? Inventide. Oh. Alright, this is the mission. Oh, God damn it. Why don't they just... Okay, so anyone here I gotta kill. Are you doing the Beyond Light? Yeah. 
How many other campaigns are there? You say the Beyond Light campaign as if like there's 50 million other campaigns. The savage days. Cracking skulls and eating brains. I don't know. I don't I don't know how to fucking do any other DLCs, man. I'm just doing whatever the game's telling me to do. Ugh. That killed no one. Awesome. Ugh. <laughs> ah! Excuse me. Well, I gotta keep doing this, I guess. Just run around and kill things. That's, uh, absolutely what I've always wanted from a campaign mission. Yeah, yeah, class started, blah, blah. Most of the stream was me ranting, anyway. You see, but I don't know any of that unless the game tells me. And that's also part of why I'm playing the game the way I am. Because I'm following what the game's telling me to do as both a new player and a returning player from the first game. Because I want them to understand how goddamn stupid their game is. And they probably won't care. Which is fine. I'm basically making an example, I guess, of like how... Like, how games can be reworked, I guess? I don't know. I feel like I'm making a point, but I'm, I, I, I ultimately know at the end of the day I'm really not. I also don't even know what the fuck that even is. What's the Tangled Shores? Obviously, it's on the map somewhere. Uh, this one? Fight along Cade 6, which he died. It does say campaign on it. Campaign. Never mind. Destination. 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 Oh, okay. I guess this is campaign. This is campaign. Okay. Have I not killed any of the fallen? These quests are so fucking boring. Uh, defeat fallen. Oh, oh, in a single life. Oh, because I keep dying. That's why. What is I I R C? Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting for this ship to drop people off, or not. Well, that was fun. If I remember correctly. God damn it. You and your acronyms. You damn kids. You damn kids. I'm too old for this shit. Arr. You dumbass. Dumbass. Someone was hitting me. I don't know from where. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh. God damn it. Oh boy. Okay. It's not there. Hi. Well, hello there. All right. Also, they were supposed to be giving out a. There. <laughs> I shouldn't be mad at this one. I don't know why I'm sounding like I'm upset. I'm not. Um. So Microsoft's giving out gift cards for uh, to random people, I guess, for the Black Friday sales going on right now. I'm so happy that uh, I was absolutely able to get one by this notification that you can clearly see next to the messages. Thanks, Microsoft. <laughs> I'm not salty. No, why would you think that? 
It's not like I love all of their products. I'm just kidding. I they give them out randomly. I'm just kind of sad I wasn't one of those random people. Okay, that was cool. I don't know what that was. It's like a little fatality thing. I think I was told about that last time I played the game, like last week. Like 12 days ago. Whenever was the last time I played this. Point. Man, this is a very fun campaign mission. I love just going around shooting people randomly until the quest is completed. There we go. Draw out and defeat uh, Elenix, Salvation Elite, and. In... Okay. This really is just a, a, a grinding game. Fuck, man. Why can't it just be like a normal game where they give you a mission, you go do the mission, and then it gives you a cutscene, and then bam, lore? Why, why is this go to an area, shoot things for like 20 minutes, and then return all the way back, and then just get like a little box of text? It's so weird. It's really weird. What is this that I have? Why is there a skull in the front of it? Did I get this last week? Or not last week? I, whenever we were playing. Transmitting her location. I guess not. Looks like what? we want ourselves an invitation. Okay. I guess it doesn't change. Oh, of course. Oh wait, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. We didn't die. We didn't die, boys. We didn't die. These are the coordinates I picked up on the radio. Phylax has troops. Oh, am I supposed to be here? Area. Uh, nope. Over there somewhere. Right over here, it looks like. Oh, there we go. Ah, eh, fuck it, I'll do this instead. Oh, I don't have the ice thing anymore. Where did that go? Oh, that's a grenade. Have a good day, uh, Victorious. Thanks for listening to my rants, I guess. I was still talking about that, wasn't I? Ah, whatever. I forgot what I was saying. I left off somewhere and I forgot. Anyway, have a good day, man. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. Sorry about, like, you heard nothing but bitching. It's just, uh... It's really annoying that... I guess my main point earlier was that, um... Like, America has so much freedom, but they complain about everything. Like, I'm just grateful for what we have as a country to begin with, and people are just like, We need to be the more perfect Aryan race! But also, fuck Nazis! Oh, goddammit. It's okay, he's dead. White America, woo! Woo woo! Woo 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 woo! Man, seeing those videos of just people trying to work out at the gym, it's it's beautiful. It brings a tear to my eye. Uh, hey, Dan. Whoa. Scared me a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for the... I almost said the follow. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the Prime sub. The Twitch Prime... Or Prime Gaming. Ooh, White America. Ooh. Eh, yep. That's cultural appropriation, Gooey. You can't use Ubu. How dare. Ubu! Alright, where am I going? Before I end up jumping off a cliff again. Speaking of the devil. Oh, whoa. There you go. That's not cultural appropriation. Because it's not copyrighted. It's transformative. Yeah. I know I'm like being like overly dramatic about it, but still. 
it emphasizes the point. Well, I guess I'm just doing this for hours. Anyone want to talk about anything? <laughs> Jesus. I thought this was going to be like something different. Like, I don't know what I expected, honestly. It's Destiny, so. Just going to be doing this for hours and then finally finish, I guess, this one mission. I can't even get in there to heal them. They keep fucking respawning. Jesus Christ. There you go. My poor pike, it's all broken. Boobs! Sure, why not? Another conversation about titties. And this. Oh, I don't need to be here, I gotta go over there. So, what's stasis regeneration? Again, they probably explained it, but oh well. I love playing Minecraft instead of doing homework. Dan! <laughs> What you doing in Minecraft? What you building? I love doing it. Man, if I was your daddy, I swear. Little shit. Maybe it's a good thing I'm not a dad, because I just get easily annoyed with my kid doing like the stupidest things that I would do. Ow. Okay, well, you missed, so you suck. <laughs> what taunt you come? Figured. And then I would disown you. And you would be sold to the orphanage. And yes, I said sold. You will no longer be my son. And then if you ever cry wanting to come back home, I'd just be like, I do not know you. Just as Judas did to Jesus or whatever in the Bible. Ah, I, I do not know you, sir. School's useless anyway. Yeah, you can turn out to be just like Gooey. Do you want me to explain his financial situation? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not that mean, I swear. Oh, hey, these are the things that I couldn't really destroy, but now they're dying with ease. Okay. I'm just gonna use this, because why not? Point. Wham! Who's the ones that can afford my game? This guy! But who gives you the money? Not really something to brag about. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You remind me of the, you know, that that woman, uh, the government. Woo! <laughs> you remind me of that lady, uh, who has she's like so large and like. She keeps harassing all of her neighbors because they're African American or Mexicans or whatever. And she she has no job, but she's trying to she's trying to be like, I am a representative of America, okay? I get paid by the government. I get paid by the government. Like that's something to brag about. I'll pay you back in the year 2077. Sure thing, Dan, I got you. Yo, I have an increased rate of interest of 17% every hour that I do I not get paid. Ooh, Tesseract. Red Skull is going to be on my case. Whoa. Is he in prison? Why is he in a box? I will release you. I don't know why, but I will release you. Ah! 
He is free! I think. Yeah. I'm a saint. I released whoever was in that box, I guess. I want a job. It's just kind of... I know. I know. I've been there. No, it's just funny because it, it just reminds me of that, that woman. Where she doesn't have a job and she wants to pretend like yelling at all of her neighbors for doing nothing is like... Uh, like, what, what do you call it? A citizen's arrest? You know what I mean? She wants to pretend that yelling at anything is making her valuable in the community. And then she just screams, I get paid by the government! Like, wow, you're under your social security to get paid. That's amazing! Job equals money, money equals bitches. Exactly. Even if you're a cashier. Which I am. You get all the bitches. That's how I'm surrounded in puss right now. Literally, to my left and to my right. You can't see it because it's dark, but I promise you, if you increase the brightness to 3,000%, you will see naked bitches. I don't need bitches. I have my body pillow. Fucking got him. Got him. Dude, who needs porn when you have anime? Am I right, fellow gamers? Am I fucking right? I have the power of God and anime on my side! Humanity was a mistake. It just was. I can't imagine being a god creating such a beautiful planet, right? That's capable of of uh like, I, I, I don't want to say harnessing, but circulating oxygen, wind, mountains, all the, like, everything that crashed into a, ba a ball of dirt in space, perfectly set at a distance from the sun to vegetate life and all the, like, plants, and again, oxygen and trees and everything. Just to be spoiled by, like, people on TikTok or human beings dabbing on those haters. And then purposely mixing wolves together, such a a dominant beast in the forests, in the arctics, everywhere, such a such a really big self-sustaining predator uh, with a pack. And then we just breed it to make like tiny little chihuahua dogs. I, I can't admit, man, that thing is running away from me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> Hold still! Come back! Oh, I can't even pick it up anyway. I'm full on ammo. Alright, that was worth it. Sam, I have my creeper plushie. I actually have my creeper plushie over there too. It's really cute. They say you are a great warrior. I named him Dave. Don't ask why I was 11. Wait. But I think By transitive property, Dan said... I don't need bitches, I have my body pillow. Implying sexual X on said body pillow. Meanwhile, Gooey says, Same, I have my creeper plushie, who is named Dave, that he named since he was 11. The Traveler. I don't feel dependent on or limited by the Traveler. So therefore, I feel close to the Traveler. Protected. Or... I'm getting an Astolfo body pillow for Christmas because it's funny. Am I back here again? Oh my god. Going in circles! Yeah! This game's great. <laughs> Jesus! Poor Dave. Poor Dave the Creeper. Man, I feel so bad for anyone named Dave. Oh wait, I have new clothes, don't I? Or whatever. American mattress! I don't know why that came in my head. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll pick whatever looks fancier when I'm fully upgraded, I guess. <laughs> he likes it? My god. Huey, please. Family friendly, alright? This is a Christian Minecraft server. Please, don't get me banned. So, what is this? Uh, <sighs> Shotgun damage in Gambit or Crucible. Oh! Well, that makes more sense then. Alright. Okay, here's another box. I'm just not gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna do this. Never mind, it went away. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Fatality! I guess that's kinda cool. I don't know what the point of that is, but it's interesting. I suppose. Boink! Shoot the trans so I can pull him in just to slap him away. The barrier. Dave, hiss twice if you are held hostage. He actually does it, that'd be funny. Do you even have batteries working in that goddamn plushie? I assume the batteries have just been replaced by cum. God, I hate saying that word. It's so gross. Should I order pizza, yes or no? No, nah, get Taco Bell. I'm British. The end. Go get a chocolate orange. The sound of that sounds awful. My elixir fight for the fight itself. There is nothing beyond it. Let Find Phylax. Alright. God, that sounds awful. I, I mean, chocolate covered strawberries are great, but a chocolate covered orange? With or without the peel? I mean, the peel itself is flavorful. You, you don't want to get rid of the peel, I would assume, right? The peel is what makes it appealing. Did you get the joke? Uh, I mean, yeah, get pizza if you want to get pizza. Why don't you just cook something? You didn't cook? Honestly, I get I get so sick of pizza because we have it so often. I, I I talk about this all the time, literally like every single day of my life. Uh, but we have pizza so often, I I, I get kind of sick of it. But I'm sure no one else has like the. I guess I want I want to say curse, but other people would consider it a luxury. I'm not saying we don't have money to buy pizzas. Obviously, we do for buying it, but. I'm just saying, like, it, it kind of gets sick of it after a while. So it's just like, yay, pizza. Mm. I love clogged arteries. Mmm. Delicious. Terry's? What? What, well, uh, wait, what were, like, the Timmy's chocolate or Terry's chocolate oranges? Ew, that's a thing? Oh, you've been sick the past three- Oh, well, get some, like, uh, well, they don't, like, deliver soups, do they? Get, like, a chicken noodle soup. Give me some ravioli. Give me the formioli. Ravioli. No, not ravioli. Uh Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't even see where they got me from. I could get a chicken. No, it's got to be like an oily soup. That's absolutely what what helps your stomach. Very oily 
soup. With noodles. Spaghetti. Would you like the spaghetti? I wish the little map would stop disappearing and taking forever to reappear when you zoom in. It takes so long for it to come back. Oh my god. Would you like spaghetti? Is orange flavored chocolate in the shape of an orange? Wait. Is orange flavored chocolate? Orange flavored. Ch that still doesn't sound good. <laughs> that still sounds awful. I mean... So it's not like a chocolate covered orange. It's an orange flavor. It's chocolate that tastes like orange. In the shape of an orange. Right? Am I getting that wrong or incorrectly or... Opposite of false? She wants to give that army stasis if they ever came for the last city. Terry's? It is a thing. Terry's chocolate oranges. It, I mean, it looks like a ball of chocolate for sure that's shaped like an orange. But it tastes like an orange? The chocolate is flavored like an orange? I mean, I guess there's mint flavored chocolates. Orange flavored chocolates they have. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. You're saying you're like you're saying you like it, but just the sound of it, I can only imagine the taste, and I I, I do not approve. But I never tried it, so I can't really fully say anything. Don't knock it till you try it. Have you ever had anal sex? Don't knock it till you try it. Have you ever sliced off a finger? Don't knock it till you try it. Have you ever gotten a piercing right through your peaky hole? Don't knock it till you try it. God, I hate that saying. I mean, in some cases it's true. Jesus. In some cases, it's true. I can't say that for everything. No, I mean, I was I was gonna say if it sounds gross, it probably is gross. But yeah, and there's people fucking the their cars, I guess. So so it's got two. That was one of them. I plan on trying it. Ah, yes. Having sex with your vehiculars. Yes. That sounds like an amazing time. Definitely not rip your PP apart or nothing. <laughs> Shut up, Gooey. My god. Have shame for once. I was gonna pick something up, I forgot what it was. Or did I already pick it up? I think I picked it up already. It was probably ammo. I forgot what I was gonna grab. I was gonna do something and I forgot. A chocolate cover- that just looks- I mean, it looks like chocolate! In the shape of a ball, with like little slices, but... You're saying it tastes like an orange. I don't... know... if I would enjoy that. That sounds like it'd be sour and like would go down your spine. <laughs> Gross. Another one of those giant mechs. Oh, another one of these. Technology taken from the Kells scourge. Another Was I in like house you 
acid cum or something? Why am I taking damage from that? Acidic cum is dangerous for you. But Kevin, I'm coming to see this. Blab, blab, blab. Yep, and there he goes. I mean, the POP 50 is a sexy beast. I mean, you're absolutely right. I'm kind of getting a hard on, honestly, talking about all these cars that could potentially have my wiener inside of them. Potentially. You right, you right. Oh, there's Flappykins, the warrior or something. I probably should have saved my special ability for this very moment. Fingertips! Or flaming Hot Cheeto Tips! Hi. Can you not, like, be near me, please? Wreck, Tim! Honestly, classes are starting. I really should probably <laughs> go to class. I mean, it'll last a couple hours, so I guess I don't have to leave immediately, but I probably. Oh, come on! Ooh, is this disappearing? Ooh, that's not good. Ooh! Oh! Ow, 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 ow. acidic cum, it hurts. Ooh, okay. Uh, just like Hyperscape. Got it. Got it. Probably should have swapped back to the, uh... Oh. That, like, pulse rifle gun thing. Uh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Ooh, woo! 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 Ah! Ooh, woo! Ooh, woo! <laughs> oh! Ooh, woo, woo! Ow! 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 Ow, it hurts! It hurts! Okay. I couldn't really go nowhere! Such a small little area. Uh, let me switch my shotgun to this bad boy. Oh, another shotgun. Uh, eh, whatever. All right, ready. Oh my god, he doesn't even fit inside of that thing. Up, oh, I got black stains on my face. I got black ghostly stains on my face. Now he's not damaging or shooting me at all, huh? Jackass. Oh, I can't hit him anyway. Son of a bitch. Well, there goes that plan. Do 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 do. Ow. Ow, stop hitting me! Frick. Ah. I forgot I had this, like, healing ring, by the way. That was a big old oopsies on my part. Well, I guess I'm staying here. Can you come down anytime soon? Oops. No, the purple one. No, it fell into the hot cum. The acidic jizzles. Oh, there it is.
want to come save the purple engram. It's not worth it. I know Master Raul, I played the first Destiny. He'll just make it into a blue engram. I already know that son of a bitch. God, it gets so dark. I don't know why it changes the light like that. Look at that! Look at how dark that gets. Jesus. Okay, well, I'm staying here again. Okay, I'm good. I have to do this. I didn't want to, but I have to. Absolutely surrounded at that moment. Oh, okay. Oh, I got the ice staff again. So that's what that is, stasis. Yeah, be stuck behind my wall, which kind of blocked my shots, but all right. I'm a wizard, Harry. I'm a Harry wizard. Yes, I have seen all the Harry Potters. I know all the things. Yes. I win. Ferrix, my lax is down. All right. I don't know if I like that power too much. It seems really weird to throw up a wall that blocks your own shots. Oh, is that the chick? Oh, that was the ice lady, wasn't it? That ripped off that guy's arm? Oh, she did. Nice feet. What happened? I was about to exit. Did it crash? No, it's loading. Okay. Man, I didn't think I'd be on a <laughs> on a rant for that long earlier. Jesus, I kind of feel bad. <laughs> it wasted like forty minutes just just yelling, just yelling. So where are we going? We're going back to the guy to talk to him. Oh, there it is. My thing's on fire now. My little uh, motorcycle bike thing. <laughs> it's it's kind of like Ghost Rider. Can I get a helmet that's on fire? Is there a helmet like that? That'd be actually really dope. He's level 74 in the season pass. Which is, for some reason, important because they decided to make the season pass number the prior the priority number on the uh, on the characters instead of your actual like light level, which would have been much more important. I don't give a damn about anyone's season pass level, but whatever. Driving away. Couldn't I have just ripped off her arm and just give it to him? That way he kind of would have had like a... Ooh, don't fall off. Kind of would have had like a... Like a haha, -ha, I've beaten you. Haha. -ha. I have now a treasured arm. You took my arm and I take yours. Could have just... Couldn't have done that. Hey, beyond. I don't see no beyond light, but it says beyond. Oh, here we go. No, oh, this is where they were? So we don't meet in Venus, huh? We just meet here on whatever Europa is? Aramis's presence on Europa is not happenstance. Temptation set the wheels She may be a robot, obsession. but I'd still smash. Her here. To destroy the light with an army of darkness. 
She and her followers make those selfish choices moment to moment. The darkness places a spotlight on our desires as it once did me and those I cared about. For a time, I had forgotten. Humanity relies on our selfless acts to bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so. With splinters of darkness still in hand, Aramis remains an immediate danger to humanity. Look within. Focus your power. Let it grow. The ziggurat awaits. Okay. What's the ziggurat? Uh, the exo stranger is blah blah blah. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's lower for you. Attune your splinter of darkness and the next stasis seal in the ziggurat, in the ziggurat and beyond. Oh, that diamond thing? Is that what that is? It's called a ziggurat? Why does that sound like an insult? You stupid ziggurat. <laughs> Which one did I use? I was using this one. No, how do you return the vehicle? You just gotta call it again, I guess. There you go. Oh, wow, it's got wings. Wings of an angel. Kind of, it kind of looks like an, uh, like an X-wing, kind of, only because of the, uh, obviously the other wings. Oh, okay, I see what we're doing. So we got to do that again for two more. Got it. It's not, it's not. So, we're doing something with this. We're unlocking it, I guess. Like I said, I wasn't really paying attention because I was just kind of ranting. Although I feel much better. <laughs> I feel much better now. I feel like I can actually breathe. I don't know why. Have I been holding that up for a long time? Is that what was happening? I was just penting up all of my angriness. I love my country, but I hate the people. We suck. We want to pretend like we're this great group of people on this country, but we suck. I just wish they had the balls to admit it instead of just pretending like they don't do anything wrong. See how difficult. Okay, let's we'll see how difficult these other two, these last two are, and then um, I really should be in class right now, but I kind of just don't want to. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of school, honestly. I, I do a lot of schoolwork, and then just the internet not working all the time. I haven't been able to stream like this in a very long time, so I just kind of want to keep it going. Excuse me. I'm picking up another transmission from Aramis. To my Elixir sisters and brothers out among oh, I thought he said Amorous. I was like, what? At home on Europa. Ugh, gross. We have suffered a great loss today. Murdered kind of a hypocrite of considering you tell Dan to do his homework. I do my homework As all the time. I'm just not in class. I'm tired of homework. It's not being a hypocrite. I turned in my homework on time. I did it all. Uh, I did it all and I turned it in. I'm just not in class. There's a difference, okay? I'm just skipping school. That's not so bad. <laughs> nah, take it from me, kids. Do your homework, but make sure you skip school. Make sure to drink and do drugs. Oh, this again? The icy powers? Can I just have regular grenades? I really don't need to build a wall. They can just walk around it so easily as they keep doing right now. I used to skip school. Are you proud of me, father? No! You're supposed to be in school! Ah, bah, 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 bah. 
school is important, son. You're not supposed to skip school. Ah, oh, jeez, I am a hypocrite. I have just realized my own becoming. Ah. Listen, I'll go to school. I'm, 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 I'll go to the school right now. The internet's working nicely. I want to enjoy it. Out of all the months I've had issues with it, it's working perfectly fine. Stop judging me. Stop harassing me. Arr. I guess I have this, like, infinitely, so I can just use it. I'm a wizard! An ice wizard! They call me the Ice King! What? You gonna enjoy it? What? When I'm dead, I won't have internet. I'll be nothing. I'll be gone. I'll, 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 I have nothing on this earth no more. I wouldn't be able to even... What? Are you saying that when we die, we turn into the internet? Is that why we have 5G? Because finally enough people died and we collected all their souls to be put into 5G? Are you actually saying that we don't use Okay. Are you saying that we don't use pulses and signals to transfer data that it's actually just human souls going back and forth between our Twitters? What? Why are there so many explosives? Even the wall didn't save me. That's great. Stop! What? The wall did not save me. Why are there so many explosives? Kill people, it just freezes them. A little annoying. I, well, not, I, not annoying, but I guess disappointing. Oh, does that sever his shielding connection? Is that what that did? If that's what that did, then I guess it's useful. Oh! I can manually detonate the, the spear thing. I think. The, the spear, not the spear, the spear. I think I can manually detonate it, at least that's what it looked like. I can't even tell if that's supposed to be ice or not, it just looks like a... Like a blue overshield, it doesn't even look like crystals. The Cold Denial, kinetic weapon. And the communion. Communion. Thank you, Father, for forgiving my sins. I feel blessed. And so are you. If this is how we're going to do it, I'll be by your side. But we are toying with power neither of us understand. And I have no control over it. If anything happens to you... I like that the mesh doesn't even distort. It's just a bunch of triangles coming out the sides. Like that. I'll get it from this angle with better lighting, hopefully. Just a bunch of triangles. Listen, I'll go to class in a second, alright? Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Maybe. It's not even mandatory to go. It's it should be fine. I can always just rewatch it. Three hours later. No. Not three hours later. No. More like ten seconds later. Cause I'm, I'm going. To, I'm going right now as we speak. As we have spoken, I am at the classes at this very moment. 
there's a box here. Yeah. At this very moment, that was a miss. I am in the classes. Also, yes, I did see the uh, the Avengers game on sale right now. Okay, now how did that even happen? Why do I suck so bad at video games? Uh, I did see the Avengers on sale. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> that was close. I saw the Avengers on sale. It's like uh, 30 bucks right now. Still kind of pricey. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's still kind of pricey. Even the even the even the Dragon Ball games is uh, kind of pricey. I can't. That's still pricey. I'm not making any money just by going to school. I wish I could get paid going to school. I will wait until it becomes I cheaper. I have seen what power has done to Aramis, but perhaps you are different. Perhaps there is hope. Praxis. Why does he do that? He is the visionary mind behind Aramis's technology. He brings power from the darkness itself. But Verex was not privy to his secrets, his experiments. You must discover how he creates these dark weapons and stop him. Remember when I first saved them and he said he would tell me everything when I first saved them? But he's not doing any of that until now? Good times. Alright. I, I don't have 30 bucks to be dropping on a new game like that. No. You crazy? You crazy. Are not warriors. Mm. Scout, hand cannon, sniper? There's a sniper in the primary slot? Okay, well, I don't need a, this hand cannon. Aren't I using an auto rifle? Nope. Pulse, scout, hand, pulse. Mm. You don't need that one. Submachine gun, auto. Submachine gun, hand cannon, shotgun, sniper, sniper. Okay, that one. Shotgun. Nope, not that one. Uh, this one is. I guess slightly better, kind of, not really. I just need to keep one, I don't need all of them. Okay, then I got more swords. The old one, two, one, three, six. I that one. 142, 170, get rid of that one. And then this is just my ghost, okay. And then clothing, purple, purple, blue. Better blue. Crappier stats, though. Jesus, that's awful. Alright. Oh, I increased the game volume. I probably should lower it back down a little bit. Since you said it was too loud earlier. Ooh, almost flew right off. <laughs> almost flew. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> For some reason, the planet is not perfectly round. Take that, flat earthers. Oh yeah, that was another thing I wanted to talk about, the flat earth. Eh, whatever. You know, I think I ranted enough. I'm good. I feel perfectly fine now. Wait, no, that's a public event. Right? Uh... Was it this one? Is this one the mission? No. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Collect tracking devices by defeating Vex in Asterion Abyss. Minotaurs will drop the device. Collect tracking devices by defeating Vex. Oh, in this area. Okay. Oh, kill Minotaurs in this area. Okay. Just, just say that! Jesus! Why do they gotta make this so stupidly, annoyingly dumb? Are you a Minotaur? No, you're a Hobgoblin. You're just a goblin. Minute. Those are the bigger ones, right? Boink. Is that it? Oh, yeah. I guess uh, just any of the Vex contains them. Okay. I don't know what that is, but that looks interesting. I'll pick that up in a second. There's one. I guess these are minotaurs. I thought they would have been the bigger ones. Okay, now what was this? This was a... Thingy? I don't know what that does. But my data key is incomplete. You know what this does, Gooey? Whatever this is. Oh, there's more. Oh, am I supposed to be traveling to each of them? Oh, I was probably meant to like activate. Okay. Oh well, too late. Oh, I guess they drop it too. I see, I see. You haven't touched Beyond Light. This is like the this is like the basic campaign of the game. I can't do anything until I complete it. I don't know how you're doing things and not completing it. I'm not able to play any of the other DLCs until this is done. You must have already done it then. This is like this is like the beginning of the game. This is the story mode, literally the campaign. Okay, uh, Praxis's Conflux disabled. I really wish it would give me more information than that. I don't know what the fuck that even means. It just, just tell me what to do and where to go. That's all you gotta do. I don't know why they make this so complicated. Oops. It's not DLC, this is the base game. There's, this is the, just the basic campaign. Last time we saw the Exo Stranger, she wanted us to fight the darkness. Now, that doesn't make sense time, to me. She's telling you to use it. How is this the newest DLC if this is the first thing of the game? But she still hasn't explained exactly what she's pulling you into. It's not fair to you. Man, this game pisses me off. I don't- I don't even know what I'm playing now. I, I, am I playing the campaign or what the hell am I playing? They don't explain anything. Oh, this is a public event. God damn it. I just saw the icon. Oh, I gotta destroy these things, aren't I? Right? 
numbers are coming out of it. I, I think you gotta destroy it. Hi, you're only level two in the season pass? Wow, so lame. Beyond Light is the new DLC that came out on the 10th. The Exo Stranger Lady is the face of the DLC. But she's in the first Destiny. That doesn't... What the fuck am I playing? Is this not the campaign? Is this not the fucking base, stupid, dumb fuck game? God, what is this? What am I playing? Europa arms and Europa legs. <sighs> I'm looking it up. I'm confused on what the fuck I'm even doing. Main campaign missions. The Red War campaign? Stupid stick drift. Oh my god. I need to go somewhere where I won't get shot. There's dead people here, so this seems like a good spot. Alright. Um, uh, the Red War is the main story campaign of the vanilla... T God damn it! These are the only missions I've been getting. How is this DLC? This is the only things they've been getting. And it says I can't do anything until I do this. Which one's the red one? The red war. Red Legion trailer. Peggy 16. That is loud. Oh, these are like the turtle people or whatever. The mole rat people. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so... How do I unlock this, then? I'm not even... This is the DLC? Are you kidding me? This whole time I was doing DLC? That doesn't make sense. 
This is the only thing they've been... Fuck it. So then what are these? Arms and legs. Is that... Is there a DLC called Arms and Legs? Strike bounties? <sighs> Looking at the various Reddit posts, I don't think you can play the main campaign anymore. Oh, that's fucking great. The Destiny 2 campaign order can be quite obtuse for a lot of new players. If you just joined in the fun with the new light, figuring out where to go and what to do is tough, especially before you even consider the story. There are a lot of missions to play. Playing them in the correct order requires a bit of effort. So I'm supposed to do the Red War, Curse of Osiris, Warmind, Forsaken, Shadowkeep. How to start the Destiny 2 campaign, for fuck's sakes. I've been to Amanda Holiday, what? I've been to her so many times. She does not give you this. She does not give you legacy war mind. There's If you want to play the Destiny 2 campaigns you will need to visit Amanda Holiday. The shipwreck can be found in the hangar of the tower, tending to uh, a chassis of a sparrow load into the tower and take a left down the hangar. Well, I know where she is. And the campaign is... Amanda has all the Legacy Destiny 2 campaigns. When a campaign is no longer considered current, it will be retired to her stock. Collect all the campaigns you wish to play. Once you're in your inventory, you can track it. Curse of Osiris, Warmind, Forsaken, Shadowkeep, Jesus fucking Christ. When was this updated? Last year, October. So, you know, go to Amanda Holiday? She's over here. What does this mean? Why is there a star in two? What does that mean? How do you want me to know what any of this is? Jesus Christ, Bungie. Amanda Holiday. Okay, let's go to Amanda Holiday. Screw it. Um. But she doesn't have. I've been to her before. She doesn't have this. She's supposed to have legacies in her stock? When a campaign is no longer considered current, it is it will be retired to her stock. No longer current, what does that mean? <sighs> My god, this fucking game, man. I wasn't even doing the campaign this entire goddamn forsaken time. Oh, this is probably the purple engram I dropped in the hot molten cum. Checking. Oh, I dropped a bunch of things. 
Oops. Please, Guardian. It's been That's the shop. I don't care about the shop. Quest archive? Bye. Uh... New light. Uh, Keox to acquire old or abandoned she quests. Keox? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where is it? I'm glad they dedicate an entire page only to the top left portion. Wait, the what? The stars? Stars. I'm on a different page. I'm not on the Twitch page. Hold on. I'm looking at OBS because I'm... Or I have OB I'm looking at the OBS chat that's on the screen. Uh, I'm on another tab. Because I'm trying to understand what you're, you're saying. Stars? I don't care about any of this crap. Or legacy, I guess. The past? Dead orbit released another 12,000 packs of food gel for the refugees. Let's just go to Amanda Holiday. These guys are still waving their hands around, even though there's no ships anywhere. Cool, cool. It's like when the boss is coming and you have to keep busy pretending like you're doing something. That's that's what those guys are doing. Oh, quick, the boss is coming. Oh, how many things to collect? These stars right here, this one? It says stars and in people. It isn't... Okay, I guess I collected the two things I needed to collect then. Why don't they just fucking tell you that? Why don't they have a fucking tutorial for any of this shit? Why don't they explain... Why is there a person here? Does this matter? Who's here? I don't, I don't even think I have friends that play this game. It, it, it's, po it's probably people that play the game. I don't know. Here's what I got. Do you have the legacies? No, you don't. But you got other stuff. Jesus Christ, woman. Just finished working on that. What is this? An unchained emote. A vehicular. A ship. Not too many of these out there. Shotgun, ornament, weapons. Well, I mean, I haven't collected these guns, obviously, but they keep increasing in value, so. Is this important for any reason, or is it just just a weird-looking sperm ship? All right. <sighs> she, she, it's supposed to just be here. Instead of the Prime Gaming Rewards, it's supposed to be legacy content. The people, I assume, means it's a hub? This one, it's a hub. Where? It's strike. Okay, so these big symbols are strikes. Okay. This is weird if it's a hub because there's active public events going on. If there's public events going on, it shouldn't be a hub like the uh, like the tower is. Because the tower has nothing going on. There's no dangers, no public events, nothing. It, this is the hub. Uh, 
Okay, well, she doesn't have it. There are now 50 or so campaign missions. Each one takes place in a certain time in a Destiny 2 story. If you're a new player, the first mission you play will take you through the Cosmodrome. You have to fight a spider tank and collect a new gun. I did that one already. Um, once this mission is completed, you can play through any of the Destiny 2's campaigns. New Light includes... What is this one? Beyond Light? So, New Light includes the Red War, Curse of Osiris, and Warmind. The Three Legacies campaign from Destiny 2 Year 1. Good luck out there. Shut up. Um... New Light was when the game went for free. So what the fuck is Beyond Light? That's the DLC? Can they stop being, like, poetic and spiritual with this bullshit naming? Can they just say DLC number one, two, four, seven, something? Checking, Guardian. Fuck! <sighs> okay. Good luck. So, I can't click on them. Okay, so let, past releases, how do I, so this is year one stuff, is this what this is? But I can't click on it. The Red War. After picking up the Red War campaign from Amanda Holiday, I, she won't let me grab it. It can be started from the tower. Homecoming, Adieu, Spark, Devrim K. I don't know what that stuff is. I'm looking at another website. <sighs> Destiny 2 base game. Earth homecoming. Sure. Rhythmic physical expressions won't win a fight when they feel good. And feeling good is better than not. That's the Cosmodrome. Earth homecoming. Is there anything that says homecoming? No, those are strikes. She said she wanted to express herself, so Oh, I've been to this place. This is not it. See, do people even know what they're playing? Like, what game they're even playing? Because I feel like people are just doing the shooters and missions. Like, all they know to do is to just shoot things and then... That's it. I don't even think people even know what the hell's going on. <sighs> oh, is this the Reddit you're looking at? For new players, every Destiny 2 mission in order of occurrence, plus some additional story stuff. Uh, I looked inside the subreddit, I got interested in the Destiny, becoming the piece of... Uh, Destiny 2, Destiny... With the re-release of Destiny 2 Year 1 uh, and Year 2 as New Light, the free one, being loaded into the power directly at 750, I was loaded in at 1050 because, I guess, other updates. I thought it would be helpful to some kindergartens who want to play through the story themselves before jumping into the grind. Bungie announced that all the campaigns would be accessible in any order. 
Therefore, I present this post, every Destiny 2 mission, in order of occurrence if you want to replay the story as envisioned by the developer at first. Please keep in mind, adventures are not hugely important to the story. Benchurch does the exploring. I make the deals. Okay, they're not important to the story, but can be played throughout the campaign in any order you wish. They're mainly as side they're used mainly as side missions and XP sources during leveling. So any of the DLCs, if you're a new player, they're just they're basically side missions used as XP for leveling. The leveling is only important for the raids. So even this so I'm playing this DLC, Beyond Light. It's not the story mode. It's a bunch of sub it's a bunch of side missions with a story to it. I haven't really kept track anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh but it's to they're main they're used mainly as side missions and XP sources during leveling. Adventures are denoted by an orange shield with a sword. That's not it. An orange shield with a sword. Oh, not this one. There's a ball cut in half. There's whatever the fuck symbol this is. Um, main campaign icons are linked below for the corresponding campaigns. We lost sight of it over the Pacific. The Red War. Look. Oh, you gotta look for a specific icon. Jesus fucking Christ. Really? Eververse isn't just a title it's a promise <sighs> they're making me hunt down a specific symbol or wait do I have any of my quests so it looks like a like like staplers I guess like a like the squared staples but two of them on top of each other. So I don't have it in here. I have to pick it up somewhere. So look for this icon, the red war. It's two staples. A5530 CTX to the autumn gate. HB30 to cover CNT7's route. Uh, how to start the uh, Destiny 2 campaign? I mean, they're just saying to go to Amanda Holiday, but she doesn't give you the thing. Or at least for me, she's not giving it to All me. Right, Guardians, uh, Mr. G. Sure. Rhythmic physical expressions. It's not won't readily apparent right away. Uh, the game actually throws you into raids and strikes and things. Well, not raids, but strikes. And you've got to do a little bit of hunting to actually start the first free. Time. Whoa. Okay, that's really different. Red War. So you'll be in the tower. So Whoa, look at this map. A little bit of hunting. It's actually... St it's a hugely different map than what I got. Uh... Yeah, so this is the Destiny 1 map. It's supposed to expand into... There's Nessus on the top right. Or I guess for me it's on the bottom left. I have the moon. I have the tower. Uh, Europa... Is not on this one. Mercury, IO, Mars, Titan. Jesus Christ. Start the first free to play campaign, which is Red War. So you'll be in the tower. So you open up your director with Tab. Not talk to any of these guys here. You're going to head over to Amanda Holiday. 
which is the east side in Everybody the hangar. Right. Pop over to her, and that's going to unlock the free campaigns that you can do. No, not this guy. Let's go run around the corner here and get started. So, yeah, when I first started playing Destiny 2, um, you know, went through the tutorial and the opening stuff, and then I thought I was getting started in the campaign, uh, but I wasn't. I was just doing strikes with other players. Campaign, you're going to be able to start That's what I was doing. And it's going to introduce you to some of the lore and really throw you into the free-to-play elements of the game and get you that Bungie-style, massive, cinematic <laughs> movie experience on a whole new level. So there she is. I'm going to pop over to Amanda Holiday, and we're going to be able to access the free campaigns. So you can see we've got legacy content. Yep, and I don't have those symbols. She also is in charge of ship. Yep, I don't have those. Yep, I don't have those. <laughs> I don't have those. So it's supposed to be readily available at the beginning. Uh... Beyond Light is the new DLC that came out on the 10th. The Exo Stranger Lady is the face of that DLC. Okay, so... The lady that you meet in the first game, she's in this game as a DLC character. Okay, so that's what I was playing now. Maybe on the offensive is the campaign. I don't... I don't think so. It had a different symbol. I'm looking at the symbols. Because they said you gotta look at the symbols. I mean, I'll, I can try it, I guess, but... What do I gotta do? Complete any strike bounties provided by Zavala. Dailies and weeklies. Okay. Venture so let me go to Zavala. Uh... Look, maybe offensive is the camp... No, I read that. Uh, looking at various Reddit posts... I don't think you can play the... They vaulted some of the planets with the update. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I, hear you I can't play them anymore? Buddy. Since they vaulted some of the planets with the update, it's not possible anymore. The star means there's... Th oh, I read those. Yes, what the star means, the people, I assume, means it's a hub. Okay. The Prometheus lens is really good. I don't know what that is. Probably doesn't mean what I think it means then. New light was the when the game went free. Beyond light is the newest DLC. I wish they would stop with this new light, beyond light bullcrap. I don't know what this stuff is. I, I forgot what I asked. We can change things. Okay, so good to have you back. <sighs> Seasonal. I don't know what that is. Uh Hive Hive. Requisition approved. Guess you just might as well collect all of them, huh? Let's get to work. So you. No, thank you. God, this game's so fucking boring. Jesus Christ. Oops. But we have access uh, to three campaigns, but we need to start with. But I don't have any of that. There's a lot of cutscenes in this. I'm not going to show you all those. Basically, these uh, guys nobody likes, called the Red Legion, roll into town. And they are trying to harness and steal the power of the Traveler. Which everyone that plays Destiny 1 knows a lot more about what it is. But it's a basic flying artificial intelligence machine ball thing that created the Guardians, I guess. Maybe. Not sure. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Either way. The cinematics and the musical scores are extremely well done. So, Q, lots of shooting. Us being a hero, with this being a bungee game, they definitely really hammer you in the hero complex. Maybe they could dial that down in the writing. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we can I dial it down in the writing. Like you're saving the entire planet every time you play a game. Well, campaign quests are the ones to do that. So, Amanda, who gave us this mission, she's going to drop the command holiday. ship. We're gonna try and get the shields down on that thing. Yeah. Uh, 
spoiler, it's gonna end well. I gotta say though, she they dies. Did not spare any expense making these cutscenes really nice. Oh, yep, excellent driving. That's us. Yeah, a little cheesy. By a little cheesy, I mean it's extremely cheesy. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't work out great for our hero. Yeah. Right, and this is where everything resets. Oh, those are the two stapler symbols. I'm kind of the guardian's right. crawling on the floor of it. So here's our big bad guy, Dominus. Thanks, friend. I don't think he could be any more stereotypical of a bad guy than they made him. He's a giant monster faced dude with a gas mask. He's got like okay. Angel wings. It's a little bit of juxtaposition. So what's his purpose? Like, why is he evil? Just because he wants to be? Yep. Don't worry, we're not actually dead. But there's a lot of drama and things happening. Uh, but basically, the game's just going to move us to different places where we can shoot different... Oh, look it. And then it actually does the intro Destiny That's 2. That's Destiny 2 in a nutshell. So we've lost our ghost. We found him. We did survive. And this part of the campaign is going to take us to a new region. Okay. So, I have none of that. God, this game sucks. Why is this all the hype? I I understand it's a fun shooter and there's a... The servers are cool that they deload you from one area and then they load you into another server of other people like that's a cool transition it's i mean it's animated well it looks pretty and all that but what's the hype around it where when do we go down there so i was just playing the new dlc this whole goddamn forsaken time i wasn't even playing the story mode or i, I guess it is story but it's more of just a bunch of side quests and quest quests. Two out of four and seven out of eight quest quests. You mostly just got to do strikes until you unlock, what is it? This one. It's just repeating the same levels over and over again until one of these pop and then you got to do it again afterwards. Oh, the past! This, okay. Quest from past exp- mm. These are the symbols that I was looking for. New light. Quests related- Okay. Oh, they are organized. Oh, this is just all of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's right here the whole time? Okay. So, new light, right? Gooey, don't leave me, please. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, New Light... is it, It's free stuff. Everything free. Beyond Light is what I'm doing now. This is DLC crap. Oh. I guess these are... Okay. Seasonal. Oh my fucking god. There's so many things. What is this? General. Gear. You know what? Never mind. I'm already bored. All right. I'm done. <laughs> Never mind. I'm good. I'm gonna go. I'd rather just go to classes. Have a good night, Gooey. You're, you're right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna uninstall this shit. I'm done with it. <laughs> I can't, I can't be, there's so much effort for nothing. For nothing. And he's even, he, this guy's even summarizing the game. Mr. G. As like, it's nothing. It's just a bunch of side quests. This game is literally nothing but side quests. There's no other story from the first Destiny. I guess the first Destiny is obsolete because they're making you replay the first Destiny back on the Cosmodrome. 
and then they throw, I guess, DLCs at you, which it said I couldn't start anything else until I finished the DLC, which didn't make any sense because he, other other things are saying that I can start playing everything else, but Amanda Holiday doesn't have any of it. It's not even in those archives. So, you know what? I think I'm just done. That's Destiny. Uh, yep, great game. Uh, highly super duper recommended. Yep, 10 out of 10. Loved every minute of it. I'm gonna close all these tabs. I'm done with it. This game could eat my ass barf, and I'm done. Yep, alright, good night. <laughs> this fucking game. God damn it, Bungie. You fucking.